Hey, my loves! This is Raven from Raven's Reviews, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, today I am so excited to bring you, first ever on the channel, the Moana character art series. So we are going to go through different characters from Disney's Moana. We are going to start off with the queen herself, Moana, and then we're going to go into Pua the pig and Hey Hey. Uh, but those are going to be in part two and part three. So to start this wonderful mini series off, we are going to be hand painting Moana using only Madame Glam. So let's get into it. As you know with Moana, the ocean called to her, just as I believe the ocean called to me, mermaids. <laughs> so I wanted to first of all show you all of the reference art and images. And I want to create this gorgeous tropical sunset, but I wanted to do it with a mix of pudding gels and regular polishes. So as you see, I'm just quickly going through the polishes that will be used to create the gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. Now, I couldn't resist. I had to use Sun Days. That's from the Glamorous Paradise Collection alongside Glam Volcano and Sun Stalker. Now we're going or dipping into the turquoise blue, and this is going to be the water. We are also going to put the celeste blue uh, using the ombre brush to create the sheen, the shine on the water. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all know I'm a mermaid, so any way we can do ocean themes, mermaids, any kind of movie or TV show that has to do with an underwater creature or a mermaid, I'm excited. So Moana just spoke to me when I watched it the first time. It, it actually got me really emotional. I just thought it was so beautiful. And the fact that they were bringing, you know, Pacific Islander and Polynesian voices, it just like warmed my soul. So I would have been a miss if I did not include Moana in my little tropical series I'm doing. Thanks to Madam Glam sending out the Glamorous Paradise Collection. I was ignited with so much passion and I just wanted to not only do the Hawaiian sunset nail that you saw on my own phalanges, but do other character art. So I'm going in with Madame Glam's ombre brush, which has the more, sorry, the most gorgeous, gorgeous bristles. That's why I said that weird worst, because <laughs> I was thinking about how gorgeous the bristles are and I think I created my own word. <laughs> So I just want to blend these to perfection. And I also wanted to see, so this is a test y'all, how easy their gel polish blends with their pudding gels. So right now I'm creating that sunset and where you're, you're almost seeing as the sun sets or rises, these golden tones that come through and pinks and purples and yellows. So I really wanted to include that. So dipping in with the ombre brush, I am just doing light swipes and this is going to create that gorgeous sheen on the water. This is not the end process though. Once I have the color where I want it, I'm going to continue blend, blend, blending for the gods. Now since I'm doing character art on top of this, I actually decided to not go in with a second coat. I was so impressed with how opaque Madame Glam's cream formula and their pudding gel was. I was able to blend these to perfection. The I Love New York blended in with the turquoise blue to create this darling purple. And just seeing this glint off of this beautiful ocean, I'm just screaming. As you guys saw, that was just three colors blended in using the Madame Glam ombre brush and it created something otherworldly. I was instantly transported and I couldn't resist. I had to quickly show you there the I Heart New York. That was the hot, hot pink that was in the center of that gorgeous sunset. So using Coconut Perfect Brown Glam Volcano, uh, we are just dipping into all of those colors there 
and I believe Sunstalker is there as well. Uh, we are going to be, these are the colors for Moana. Now, this video, oh my goodness, y'all, I was a little nervous to put this out. So, I promised myself a New Year's resolution last year was that this year I was going to do things out of my comfort zone because the only way you can strengthen your art and really learn is to keep practicing and trying new things. So as anybody that is uh, OG on this channel knows, I am obsessed with character art. But drawing people freaks me out. Like, it really freaks me out. <laughs> so I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, try to draw beautiful Moana, and just see where the ocean and Madame Glam polishes take me. So this is going to be a mini-series. We are going to also do part two is going to be Hey Hey, and part three is going to be Pua the Pig. So I am so excited to bring that character art for you, but I wanted to start off with something that made me a little nervous, and that was the character art for Moana, because again, drawing human faces is not, not the easiest thing, and the only way I'm going to get better with my art is to keep on practicing. So we are going to dipping into Glam Volcano, which is so luscious. We are going to map out Moana's body, and then we're going to be working on her features. So we're dipping into Cinnamon and Peanut. So I wish I could rename this like Mocha Latte and Chocolate, because <laughs> the chocolate on there is unreal and it's just so delicious. Uh, I also wanted to dip into the white and black for the character art. I wanted to showcase how amazing Madame Glam's pudding gels are and they're flawless for character art. A lot of them are um, opaque enough that you do not have to do a secondary coat. So I was really impressed. Now this is a sponsored video from Madame Glam. I am using the summer, uh, sorry, the summer pudding gel collection and also the Glamorous Paradise Collection alongside the apple of my eye. So all three of those were sent out by the beautiful Madame Glam. And I also am using some goodies that I purchased using my VIP account. So I did everything in the screen here, the white, black, peanut, and cinnamon. I did purchase those in a a past haul, but I am so obsessed. I didn't realize how amazing these were for character art. I was just thinking linearly like you use application brush, you use it for, you know, for full coverage, but I didn't think about it to use it for my nail art, which I don't even know why, but it was, I think it was the consistency. But the moment that I put this on the liner brush, it was so smooth. I just fell madly in love. So Raven is giving this five Ravens out of five. I would give it a thousand if I could. I am so impressed with Madame Glam period, but these pudding gels and their gel paints are essential for any character artist or nail artist. So y'all, if you are seeing anything that you love, if you are liking what I'm putting down, <laughs> you can feel free to use Raven's Nail Bar 30 for 30% off of all of your Madame Glam essentials. Now something about this was just giving me like the moment I saw the eyes just white with no pupils. I am so excited for Halloween y'all. For me spooky season is year round and I just can't wait to draw all of the witches and the spooky you know creatures and just all of the things vampires and goblins and witches oh my. <laughs> I'm just so excited. But quickly, I wanted to map out Moana's nose and her mouth. So I dipped into the cinnamon pudding gel, which is so luxurious, so that I could map that out and then continue with the character art. Now, I did realize as I was doing this, I'm like, her chin needs to be longer. Like, I am cutting off her face right now. So I did add a little bit more Glam Volcano in there, and I am going to go in shading to give a definition to her chin and her neck. I also wanted to, and this is where the Glamorous Paradise Collection truly shines, uh, alongside their Perfect Collection, because I use their Perfect Red 
uh, alongside Glam Volcano with a touch of perfect black and coconut to create Moana's dress and her the heart of the ocean, her necklace that I am absolutely obsessed with. Uh, I also do want to hand paint the heart of Tafiti at some point as well, so that will definitely be included in the set. And we're gonna make her glow, y'all. <laughs> we could not resist that. But I just really wanted to take this video uh, to really test the boundaries and you know how much I can do with Madame Glam's pudding gels, their gel paints, and their regular cream formulas. And the results are in y'all. <laughs> it is a resounding yes, queen. Like, I cannot geek enough about Madame Glam and how wonderful their vegan polishes are. But I want to shed light on their pudding gels as well because they are phenomenal alongside the gel paints and of course their cream formula. So I just wanted to show how versatile, like it is completely up to your imagination what you can create, but I could not get over the details of the line work I was getting with these pudding gels. So this is the black pudding gel that I just dipped into. Do you see this definition? Y'all, my heart was swooning. <laughs> Madam Glam, you make amazing polishes. It's like, have you ever heard that? Mr. Christie, you make good cookies. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of. So I just wanted to take this moment to thank you. Yes, you, my beautiful nail family. Thank you so much for taking, you know, a portion out of your day to watch my video. I know y'all time like with summer ending, everybody is like super busy and just the fact that you can tune in and, you know, enjoy the gift of glam with me and just, ugh, I can't explain like your support means the world. So every single like, every single comment, don't think that goes unnoticed every time it's like the warmest hug i don't know where i would be today without your love and support i just oh, i'm just jumping through the screen and giving you the biggest biggest or as my nail sister mama d would say the most mahoosive is hug ever oh my goodness Ugh. I just, yeah, there's no words adequate in the dictionary to describe how much I love y'all, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to articulate. <laughs> At least today, uh, words are not as hard as the previous video. My lordy. Do you ever have a day that just everything seems to go wrong? That, that was the other day. But I learned to not give it any power and that I would turn it around. So no matter how bad my day was, it was going to end on a positive note. And it did. I, I just fell into the gift of glam and all of the color therapy. And by the end of that voice note for uh, a few days ago's video, I just, I appreciated everybody was so sweet in the comments. And y'all, you stuck through that whole long video with me blabbering like a, a mermaid out of water. <laughs> But I appreciate you guys. You are everything. And I just wanted to say I dipped into the gorgeous peanut gel, the pudding gel, and I actually created like a contour and I used a sponge just so that I could create some definition on her face. Now dipping in with the perfect red, as I mentioned before, I am going to create Moana's gorgeous outfit. And I would be a miss without mentioning coconut. Now that is from the Glamorous Paradise Collection, and it is luscious. I am so sorry. My throat was trying to like reverse choke me from the inside, and I was like, body, what are you doing? <laughs> you know that when your body goes against you, you're like, hello, I'm nice to you. C can you be nice to me? <laughs> so we are just going in with those finer details. I really want to make sure that Moana's classic outfit, the number one that she's on, the movie poster and everything, that gorgeous, it almost looks like a halter and then uh, almost like a, I don't think it is a hula skirt, but it's made out of different um, fabric and it is just so gorgeous. Like I can't describe to you how beautiful it is. So I want to make sure I was paying homage to that the best I could. 
Now, since this was a, such a tiny micro surface, I kind of just freestyled on the design. I tried to go as similar to what was on her actual outfit, but I did not have enough room, y'all, so I did my best. Now, again, I, I really wanted to get out of my comfort zone with this, and drawing people freaks me out, so I am just... I am gonna make sure that I do things, as I said earlier, that make me a little uncomfy, because you know what? This is how we hone our skills and become better artists. So I really hope that you're enjoying this character art and that you love Moana as much as I do, because, oh, that is by far one of my favorite, favorite Disney movies. So we are moving on to her heart of the ocean, her gorgeous necklace, and it almost looks like a seashell on the top but then like the round of the pendant is actually abalone shell so i get out my madam glam foil gel glue that i received in the advent calendar series uh, to create the doppel of the actual necklace and then i go in with this darling abalone foil so i can begin to mimic that necklace I really tried the devils in the details and I really tried to um, get as intricate as we could. And I just, I love her lashes. I think they're so luscious and adorable and <laughs> I just think she is so pretty and I can just see her on that beach right now getting ready with her sail, ready to sail off on another adventure. So as I am creating her gorgeous necklace, I was also wondering what other character art would you like to see featured on this channel? I am obsessed, y'all. So any suggestions I would love. Uh, previously, when I was doing the SpongeBob series, I did hear a lot of beautiful humans mentioning, I think they said Donald Duck, there was Little Mermaid, um, I really want to do Finding Nemo, so that's definitely coming. Um, also, do not fear for that Spongebob series. We are missing one character, and that is Miss Sandy Cheeks. So she will be coming back soon to a screen near you. But you want to know what you've got to do? You've got to make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And that you like this if it's in your heart to do. And share this with a friend because it really helps the channel. And every single comment, it just means the world to me. Again, like I can't say that enough. Sometimes I can't respond fast, like um, within like a, a timely manner. It sounds so horrible, but due to my own chronic pain, sometimes it takes me a little bit, but I promise I will get back and respond. You guys mean the world and I never want you to think that I don't see a comment because I see every single one of them and it touches my soul. So we are dipping into my favorite. This is the No Wipe Top Coat. This is essential for any art, let alone character art. No matter what amazing artist you are, you need to seal in your hard work. So this for me is the most satisfying moment. I am not gonna speed this up. We are going to just enjoy the top coat moment. And I just wanna say from the bottom of my mermaid heart, thank you so much for tuning in. I can't, oh, oh, I can't say it enough. I love you guys so stinking much. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. And please, please make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss any of the Moana series. And also, my birthday is coming up September 13th. So you guys don't want to miss a first for this channel, which will be birthday nails. I have never been able to do a birthday set because last year I was dealing with horrible allergies and I had not got the gift of glam in my life yet. So now that I do have the gift of glam and I am working on their team, I cannot wait to bring you gorgeous glam manicures for my birthday and also for this Moana series. So I can't wait to see you in the next one. I hope this video found you so well. Stay blessed and do all things with love. Mwah.